Hey everybody, um, as you can see I'm in my car and I'm going to be going up to our Dark Sky site. It's about 45 minutes from here. So uh, I got a surprise for you. I got a new toy uh, and some new accessories to go with that toy. So uh, come on and join me while I drive up to our Dark Sky site and uh, thanks for watching Astro Everett. Hey everybody, okay, I'm back, and there's my surprise. It's a Xena Star 61 from William Optics. Uh, it's used, but it's new to me. As you can see, there's a bit of wear on the dovetail bar, but that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that. I'm just keeping stuff simple. I got my DSLR attached to it. It's uh, 61 millimeters aperture. It's got the FPL 53 fluoride glass it's a doublet and the beautiful thing about William Optics is they come with integrated Batnoff mask put that back on there and I also got a declination bracket and a counterweight bar kit for my star adventure so just waiting for the wispy clouds to pass if they do I hope and get polar aligned here and I'll start imaging and I'll come back and give you an update but anyway, I'm really looking forward to doing a first light on this. So stick around and we'll talk to you in a bit. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, just a little update here. It is 1045 and I am shooting the Seder region. I'm just, uh, wow, the mosquitoes out here are absolutely brutal. Um, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't picked me up and carried me off. But uh I just went for something simple for first light with uh, with learning the new uh, the new scope and the declination bracket and all that. So um, so yeah, I'm shooting the Seder region again, and uh, hopefully I get to grab a an hour or so or a couple hours maybe on this, and then pack up and head home <laughs> before I get eaten alive. Well, that's already too late. I've already been eaten alive. But anyway, um, thanks for sticking around and. Uh, I'll give you an update when I am uh, done for the night and heading home. Hey everybody. Okay, so it's uh, it's about 20 after 12. Um, I know I look a little disheveled. Uh, I've been rubbing my head and all that trying to keep the mosquitoes off me. But oh my god, the mosquitoes up here were brutal and my thermocell died 
even before the sun went down so I forgot to charge it uh, memo to me charge the thermocell because it was keeping the mosquitoes away as soon as it died it was like a swarm of mosquitoes but anyway um, I got about an hour and a half maybe an hour and 45 minutes if I'm lucky uh, of the Seder region um, seems to be a good first test uh, but I have to wait and see when I go home and I process the process the images tomorrow stack them all together um, and uh, I was using the Optolong L enhanced but uh, mind you there's a full strawberry moon out there so uh, I'm hoping to get some good results with the the L enhanced I hope it uh, was able to block out you know a fair bit of, <coughs> excuse me fair bit of the moonlight but um, anyways I'm gonna wrap it up here tonight I'm gonna drive home and I will touch base with you tomorrow. So everybody have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, sorry it's been a few days since uh, since I talked to you last, but um, stuff has happened uh, beyond my control, and I haven't been able to finish up this uh, video. But anyways, uh, family thing. Um, but uh, hey, we, you know... <laughs> It happens to all of us but anyways um, I wanted to give you my final thoughts on the other night um, so William optics z71 or sorry z61 um, it's great <laughs> it's it, it really is great um, can pull that out for the dew shield um, so I have a different plate. I have the Lost Mandy plate on here, D-style Lost Mandy plate, so it fits on my uh, on my C-Gem mount, and um, it also has a uh, has a dovetail bar, which I'm going to go get right now, and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the dovetail bar. Now, like I said, it was used uh, when I bought it, and there is some marking. On the uh, on the dovetail plate but that's that's cosmetic it has uh, no effect on the performance of the scope or anything like that um, so what I did is I did I took a um, another image of the Seder region now uh, it's different than one I've done before but um, and I didn't do a video on that so I figured you know why not it's a new a new toy new piece of equipment and uh, why not um, why not uh, do a little review? So uh, and a first light. So yeah, um, as you can see here, I got my guide scope on there too. Um, I didn't have my guide scope on there uh, when I was shooting the other night, and because uh, I was using my star tracker, and I'm not going to guide with my star tracker. I was getting two minute. Uh, two minute guided expo or unguided exposures and um, and uh, my dog wants out so I'll be back in a minute okay <laughs> dogs are out <clears throat> but um, I find this setup so much well I shouldn't say better um, it's very light like like look like I, I can hold it up with one hand like it's it's about five pounds maybe five and a half six pounds with the guide scope but um my my big telescope the the eight inch celestron i gotta carry with two hands like it's not a one-handed telescope um but uh and as you can see with this again sorry I keep bringing this up i got my dedicated astronomy camera because i was going to try and do a, a trial with this on my big mount which is still outside uh, last night but I got clouded over so you know that's what happens when you when you're into astrophotography you gotta bow to the weather but anyways um, to sum up I had a really good first night with it with my star tracker and I will show you the image at the end of the video if you stuck around this long if you did that's awesome um, I'd like to thank all my uh, 281 subscribers um, channel is uh, growing growing slowly but you know what that's that's good like at least I'm able to get my content out there and 200 people 
the 281 people have uh, have enjoyed my content so much that they've subscribed. So again, thank you to everybody that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you like the information on this channel. And uh, if you like this video, smash the like button. That would really help me out a lot. And um, yeah, so all in all, uh, a really great ex first experience with the Xenostar Star 61. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's nice and light. It's good for travel. And, uh, I really like that they have the, uh, the, um, the Batnoff mask <laughs> in the cap that I find that to be so cool. So you don't have to go searching around for a Batnoff mask for this particular, uh, size of, uh, scope. But anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. So like I said, coming up will be the image. Um, I, I thought I, I was hoping to get anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. I unfortunately only got about 50 minutes. Uh, by the time I got set up, framed, and um, playing around with the, the you know the focus and all that, and framing up my target with the Star Adventure, because it's not a go-to mount, it's manual. Everything's manual, so I had to find everything and get it get it framed up uh, just the way I wanted. Um, but uh, as, as a first light and a test, uh, I found it to be really, really good. So um, would I recommend one of these scopes? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's, uh, it's very user friendly. Uh, and I get, like I said again, it's light. And uh, it's got a nice wide field at 360 uh, millimeters. And it's a uh, focal ratio of F.9. So it's fairly quick. Um, so yeah, it, it's. I had a great experience with it, so uh, hope, you know there's going to be more in images to come. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna hopefully tonight, you know, fingers crossed, if I can um, if I can get out tonight and uh, and do some imaging with it, uh, or just some playing around with my my big mount, making sure that it works with Nina and uh, all that other stuff, and my guiding and everything, you know, works smoothly. But anyways, um, I'm gonna wrap this up. So again, thank you to all my subscribers. Please smash the like button and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.